Number Theory Section 1 Programming Video 1 An Introduction to Python All of the examples that you do in the Number Theory section of Further Pure with Technology need to be programmed in Python. So let's start by getting Python. You can get Python from python.org and if you go to the website you can visit the downloads page and download the latest version for whichever operating system that you happen to have. Once you've downloaded it, you'll be able to run something called the Python shell and you can write all of your programs straight in the shell. There are other ways of programming in Python, there are online editors, and if you've used Python before, you might want to use whatever is comfortable for you, but it's worth remembering that in the exam, you won't be able to be online, so it's worth getting used to whatever you're going to be doing in the exam while you're practicing. All of the examples I do in these videos will be written in the Python shell that you see just here. So in this video, we're going to go through the basic arithmetic commands and then some other very useful mathematical commands. So let's start with basic arithmetic. So addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. And in Python, you'll just use the symbols that you're probably used to using on a computer already. Addition and subtraction. For multiplication, we use the asterisk and for division, we use the slash symbol. So let's have a look at that. I can do 4 plus 3 and get the answer 7. I can do 4 minus 3 and get the answer 1. 4 and then the asterisk for multiplied by 3 and get the answer 12. 4 and the slash key 3. 4 divided by 3 and I get the answer 1.333 recurring. Let's look at some more complicated commands then. We're going to look at how to do powers. So for that, we'll do the double star, the double asterisk. We're going to look at whole numbers and remainders. We're going to look at the integer part. And then we're going to look at some functions by importing the math library. Let's start then with powers. To do powers in Python, suppose I wanted to do 5 to the power of 3. I would do 5, and then instead of just multiplying, I'm going to do the double asterisk, 5 star star 3, and that should give me 125, which is 5 to the power of 3. The next useful commands we're going to look at is the integer part and the remainder part when we do a division. So imagine I wanted to know what happened when I divided 68 by 9. Well, if I just do normal division... 68 divided by 9 gives me 7.5 recurring like that. But I might just want to know the integer part and the remainder part separately. So to do that, I do 68 slash slash 9. And that tells me 7. It's rounded down the integer division. Possibly more usefully for this course is the remainder, and that's going to become very important when we're starting to look at prime numbers and looking at whether numbers are coprime. So for that, I use the percentage symbol. So 68% 9 tells me what is the remainder when I divide 68 by 9. And so these two lines together are telling me that 68 divided by 9 is 7, remainder 5. I can also use the int function to get integer parts. So if I was doing something that didn't involve division, I could use int and then 5.2, for example, would give me the integer part of 5.2, which is 5. There are a couple of functions that it's really e useful to use that we need to import the maths library for, which is called math. So to get those, to get access to those, I type import math. And then once I've done that, I can use the math functions. So for example, math.factorial gives me the factorial function 
So if I put in math.factorial 5, it gives me 120, which is 5 factorial. I can also use square roots. So math.sqrt for square root. And I can put in 196, which I happen to know is 14 squared. And so I get the answer 14. So that was our first video on programming. In this video, you've learnt how to find and install Python, how to use Python for basic arithmetic, and how to import the math library to use mathematical functions such as factorial and square root.